Today, we're gonna dive under the hood of the Doberman and show you what things you should look for in one of these dogs that's considered a behavioral red flag, or in other words, an indicator of some very bad things to come with that dog. And for some of these, you can actually spot them months before the real bad behavior starts. Right here, right now, on Doberman Planet. <laughs> Now these are some very critical early signs to watch out for that indicate a serious behavioral issue is developing inside of a Doberman. If you see any of these in a Doberman, then that dog needs some behavioral intervention ASAP before things get much worse. And the first early warning sign of bad things to come is signs of aggression in a Doberman puppy before they reach six months old. After six months of age, a Doberman will be hitting adolescence and having just kind of lots of hormonal changes. And all of that can be a bit of a journey for the dog. And certainly aggression later than six months can also definitely be an issue, but showing signs of aggression before six months of age specifically is a real serious sign that something is amiss with this Doberman. In other words, if your Doberman is becoming kind of fixated on a person or an animal or even an object and aggressively barking, you know, with their heckles raised, uh, they're perked up, their stiff body posture, they're leaning forward on their front feet slightly, or maybe even charging at this person or object, that is definitely what we call a behavioral extreme. And it's something your Doberman most likely won't grow out of uh, when they're displaying it this young. And this is definitely time for some quick intervention before they're, you know, 100 pounds of muscle and doing the same thing. The next behavioral red flag in a Doberman, having a long recovery time after being frightened. This is true for both puppy and adult Dobermans. All Dobermans get frightened from time to time, all of them. And sometimes it can be honestly quite comical to us Doberman owners, especially when our big Doberman is, you know, hiding between our legs. But they should always quickly bounce back in just a few seconds or at least maintain more of an attitude of curiosity than of fear. Yes, even as puppies. But if a Doberman stays hiding and kind of shows body language like turning away from whatever frightened them or they hide between their owner's legs for an extended period of time, then that is certainly a sign of a serious fear-related issue developing. And fear biting is statistically one of the most common reasons for dog bites. And if you have a Doberman showing a behavioral extreme such as this, then a biting issue is a real possibility in their future. The next very bad sign that there's a major problem in a Doberman is if the puppy biting and nipping stage has continued into adulthood, like past one year of age. This is certainly a behavioral sign that signals things are seriously off track with a developing Doberman. Look, Doberman puppies, they are notorious for nipping and biting. This breed is a big one for this puppy stage, and it's because Dobermans naturally have just tons of prey drive, they're highly focused on their owners, and they're just a working breed with tons of energy and drive in general. So guess what? When they're puppies, all that means that this nipping stage is really horrible and relentless for this dog, and that's pretty normal for these dogs. But what's not normal is if the Doberman is still nipping and mouthing at one year of age, then it will likely continue into adulthood. And with Dobermans, you know, often hitting up to hundred pounds, like I said, a cute puppy nipping stage will quickly be, you know, not so cute. This behavior is a lot more difficult to address after one year of age, trust me. So if you're getting close to that mark, you know, if your Doberman is eight, nine, or 10 months of age or so, and this behavior has continued, you really need to get serious about intervening and making a plan to stop it so it doesn't continue. The next serious sign of a behavioral problem brewing in a Doberman is if they're unwilling to explore new environments. And this is especially the case in Doberman puppies. As adults though, sometimes Dobermans will choose to stick close to their owner's side just due to their Velcro nature and protective instincts. But puppies, especially who do this, 
this is a bad sign. Dobermans are generally fairly confident dogs, and yes, they can be taken back at times when they see something startling, but if they're just simply in a new environment and refusing to explore that environment, then there's potentially some fear issues that need to be addressed. Normal behavior for a young Doberman is to kind of just be a bit cautious at first, but then to go about starting and like sniffing around a new environment, such as when you go to a friend's house, for example, or a new park, or to a store that allows dogs. Now, they will often check in with their owners by looking back over their shoulders. This is totally normal, but they should definitely still continue to explore. An unwillingness to engage in this normal exploring behavior could indicate some socializations when the dog was younger or even a past traumatic event in the dog's life, but either way, it definitely needs to be addressed. Now, the next warning sign that shows a looming problem in a Doberman is when they're becoming very forceful with their demands for attention when they're approaching one year of age, and especially if it's after that point. Now, this can look like barking when you're ignoring them, or it can be more direct, like nipping or pulling on your pant legs or your shirt, or very forcefully jumping in your lap, or forcefully getting in your face and so on. These forceful demands for attention, they often start around adolescence or about six months of age in Dobermans, but it doesn't normally continue for too long. So if it continues up to and past one year of age, it's definitely a red flag. Now this is usually a sign of a kind of a dominance issue and it's often the result of kind of a lack of leadership in the house. And Dobermans are incredibly intelligent and they are also a bit dominant naturally. So maintaining solid leadership in the house is very important or they will take advantage of you. The next very serious warning sign in a Doberman that a behavioral issue is there that needs to be addressed, separation anxiety so bad that it actually affects their meal time. Dobermans are actually very prone to separation anxiety. It's one of this breed's kind of ongoing behavioral problems that us owners do struggle with a bit. And this is kind of because Dobermans are highly in tune with and really focused on their owners. They call these dogs Velcro dogs because they love always being by their owner's side. Always wanting to kind of just be next to you. It's a great feature for a protection dog, but it's not so great of a feature if you're just trying to have, you know, a little space from your dog from time to time. But with some Dobermans, this need to be right by their owner's side can get so overpowering that even at meal times, they're affected. They may not eat unless their owner like literally sits right next to them. And in severe cases, they won't eat unless their owner is actually hand feeding them every bite. It sounds crazy, but it is a real world issue that some Doberman owners do struggle with. And it's certainly a sign that behavioral intervention is necessary. And by the way, it's always a good idea to consult with your vet if your Doberman is not eating. Just remember that because you want to rule out any health issues since that can also cause them to not eat. Another big red flag that will tell you if a Doberman is or is about to have some serious behavioral issues, avoidance behaviors. In other words, actively avoiding or hiding from everyday people, animals, or even objects. Now, usually this is a sign that the dog has had some sort of traumatic experience in their past. It happens a lot with rescue dogs, and it can also be made significantly worse if there has been issues with socialization in the dog's past as well. So if you see a Doberman doing these avoidance type behaviors, they're certainly at a higher risk of fear biting. So it's always important to exercise caution here as well. If you have a Doberman who is extra stressed or struggling in any way through their development, and I can't stress this enough, it's really important to feed them right. And I strongly recommend on this channel, Ollie Fresh Dog Food. It's a great alternative to feeding a raw diet. It's a human grade food that's delivered straight to your door and veterinarian formulated for your specific dog. Yeah, they actually ask you questions before you order your very first box and they formulate your custom diet plan to things like your doorman's age, their weight, their medical factors, and it's even breed customized. So yeah, they'll even factor in the fact that your dog is a doorman into the meals that they come up with and they deliver to your door. So if that sounds interesting to you, and I know it did for me, my dog Arlo loves Ollie. Take a look at the video I did where Arlo and I test out the Ollie dog food service. It should be popping up right there. Or if you want to just head on over to Ollie right now and create a custom meal plan for your dog and answer those questions, the link for that will be down in the description down below this video. You can take a look at that. It's actually pretty fun to do. I hope you enjoyed this video today, guys, and maybe even learned a little something about Dobermans also. Keep being great Doberman breed and Masters, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and maybe more importantly the notification bell and of course I'll see you next time